a brain eating amoeba. An amoeba is an organism, a single celled organism that generally enters the nose and travels to the brain and causes a severe, often fatal infection. You know, as a doctor I, and one who goes on TV, I often am asked to talk about this infection about once a year because it seems like about once a year or so we're getting cases of this that we know about and it's being talked about in the news. So first thing I want to, to just describe is what this brain eating amoeba is and what it is not. First of all, it is an organism, a single celled organism. It causes uh, a condition called primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. That's a long word for, <laughs> three long words for basically a brain infection that again is generally often fatal. Now this amoeba or this, um, this organism is generally found in warm fresh water. That's important to note. So often lakes, rivers, um, hot springs, it can even be found in soil. But um, the CDC also notes that this amoeba or infectious agent can also be found in places such as inadequately chlorinated swimming pools. So swimming pools that are not maintained properly or heated and contaminated tap water. Um, that's important to note as well. So that tends to be where we find this amoeba or this infectious agent. Now, generally what happens is the water gets inside the nose and the amoeba that's in the water then travels to the brain. Now, just so you know, you cannot get this infection by swallowing water with, this, uh, with the amoeba in it, okay? So swallowing water is not gonna do it. Thank goodness for that. It's not about swallowing water. It's about when the water gets in the nose that has the amoeba that gets to the brain. Understand, I'm not saying that any water that gets in your nose is going to be bad if you swim in a lake or a river. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying only if that water has this amoeba or single-celled organism um, and if that amoeba then gets in your nose and travels. So please understand that you know, just because you get water in your nose, it does not mean you're going to get this infection, but you should understand how it happens. Um, According to the CDC, it typically happens when people go swimming or, or they go diving in warm freshwater places, as I mentioned, like lakes and rivers. Um, I want you to understand, though, how rare this is. In the 10 years from 2009 to 2018, 34 infections, 34 in 10 years, were reported in the United States. So 34 infections in the 10 years between 2009 and 2018. So thank goodness this is a very, very rare infection. Um, understand this infection cannot be transmitted from person to person. I talked about that, talked about the idea that you cannot get it from drinking contaminated water, okay? Um, we did talk about the importance of maintaining your swimming pools, okay? So I know we're coming into the fall season, but just make sure you keep your swimming pools maintained, properly chlorinated, and things of that nature. It's important to note that even though this is rare, the fatality rate is over 97%. Only four people out of 145 known infected individuals in the United States from 1962 to 2018 have survived. That is not a lot, but that's why we're talking about this, so that you're educated, that you just know what to be on the lookout for in terms of making sure that your swimming pools are properly chlorinated, um, you know, watching where you are swimming and things of that nature. The symptoms of this infection typically start about five days uh, after infection. The range is one to nine days. Initial symptoms often include headache, fever, nausea, or vomiting. Um, other symptoms can include um, stiff neck or confusion, what we call sort of, um, you know, mental status changes, a lack of coordination or attention, people feeling fuzzy, losing balance, being dizzy, like brain symptoms, things of that nature, even seizures or hallucinations. Um, and you have to understand this condition is very deadly, as I mentioned, it tends to progress rapidly. So this is, you know, what I'm trying to tell you guys is to not be afraid, but to be educated. If you have a swimming pool, make sure that your swimming pool is kept and maintained properly. If you're swimming in certain areas, you need to be very careful and cautious. And I would also say, no matter what you do, guys, if you ever experience symptoms that are not right, you know, headache, nausea, vomiting, confusion, dizziness, whatever, anything at any time, uh, you need to seek med medical care right away. That has to do with this or anything else. As I always say, trust your body, trust you. Uh, you know when something's not right, you seek medical care. Guys, I hope this is helpful. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Um, I do daily health videos. Please like and follow my page if you haven't already. And for those of you who send stars, I so appreciate you. I answer your questions first. Uh, guys, I will be back very soon.